All right, so I am super frustrated. I took a video of um, our F1B St. Berdoodle litter and um, I've been cleaning out my phone the last couple days to um, be able to update it because of course I have too many photos and videos on my phone. Um, and so I've been cleaning it out and I had it all in my iMovie um, app or whatever because I had edited it and it was all ready to go and didn't realize that if I deleted the video like out of my photos like on my phone that it also deleted it out of my iMovies. Um, so I lost that whole video and I just don't have time to go back and do it again. Um, and so luckily the night that I did the video, I took um, just like a video of my son playing with the F1B litter. Um, he was helping him learn how to like go up the steps of the little tiny slide that we have and like go down the slide, just part of like socializing and whatnot. Anyway, so I'm gonna use that and kind of like introduce the puppies as we go with that. So um, they are four weeks old right now. So they're really starting to move around. We're starting to see a little bit of personality come out on them. And so yeah, just hope you enjoy. To start with, we have Maui here that just slid down the slide. He is a reverse try and is the largest in the litter. The next little guy that we have here is Shrek, and he's actually the largest of the tries. He is probably one of the most chill in the litter, but he's very, very confident. Um, nothing really slows him down. Um, he does have a little bit more sable color on him. The other two tri males have a few more like white markings throughout on their backs and whatnot. Um, but Shrek does have the widest blaze that goes down his face. We then have Bruno, and I personally love Bruno's markings the best. Um, I love the coloring that he has like on his back. He has a little bit more white on there. Um, he's taking a little bit longer to have personality come out on him, but um, it'll come. It's just some um, take longer. We then have Belle, and she's one of the females. Um, she is a little bit smaller, but very confident, super sweet. She does have a little bit curlier coat, so um, she will most likely shed less than a lot of the St. Berdoodles do. Next, you're going to meet Elsa, and Elsa's kind of the odd lady out. <laughs> um, she is a cream party color, so no try for her. Um, she also, kind of like Bruno, is a little bit slower um, with that personality coming out. As of right now, she's still a little bit more reserved about new things. Um, but she is fun. She's different than what you normally see in a St. Berdoodle. As you can see, they're getting to that really fun age where they are starting to play and want to play with toys. Um, and with each other, it's so fun because they they do these little growls at each other <laughs> and whatnot. Um, I love the four-week stage when they're just beginning to... Um, <clears throat> to start eating dry kibble and um, we introduce them to the doggy door. As you can see, we're working with them here um, with the little slide. We just try um, during this period to, to introduce them to new things throughout the week. And then last but not least, we have a boo. You kind of don't see him very much right here. Um, but he is the little runt of the litter. We were actually really worried about him um, for the first couple weeks. He just was small. Um, and we we did bottle feed and supplement him Um to make sure he was getting enough, but he's doing really well now. He's just, he is just smaller than, than the rest of them, but he has the cutest little personality. He's definitely a favorite among the kids around here. <laughs> 
Um, so this is, this is the F1B litter. I'm so sorry that this video <laughs> isn't better. I, um, but make sure and stay tuned for next week because we will definitely, um, do another one and, um, uh, make sure that I don't delete it. So, <laughs> um, just, yeah, tune in next week.